What's up, guys? This is Mr. iPod Wizard here, and I'm going to show you how to add your own custom ringtones and text free and limited for your iPod Touch. Because I know some of the older ringtones get bored, so let's just get right into it. Alright, you go under text free. You got to have a computer with this and get into your iPod. SSH into your iPod. Alright, I know my text free is all hacked and stuff, but. That's how I like it. Alright, so under your settings right here, you're going to go to set tones. Okay, well, we got the tones right here. And one says classic finger, you know, bird chirp, stuff like that. And here's a custom one, just so y'all can hear that I have it customized. Hold on, let me turn my iPod up. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so you can have your own custom ringtones. And I'm going to show y'all how real fast. You're going to go to your SSH. Whatever you use SSH, I use WinSCP. You want to figure out your host name by finding your IP address. But y'all should already know how to get into your iPod. So I'm going to go ahead and log in one. Alright, once you type your IP address, you want to go to host name, type in root, password, type in alpine, hit enter. Okay, once you get in, you want to go to up one level, then you want to go to, not that, you want to go to mobile, no, you want to go to mobile, you want to go to applications. Then you, this is the hard part. So, hard part sometimes if you don't have, you know, if you have a lot of apps. All right here, text free is what we're going to. So you got to pick out each one to find text free. Then you want to scroll down, and you'll find a lot of tones, like, such as tone bite corn. But you got to make sure one is on is this one's on your iPod. So how do we do that? You say, well, you go to your iPod and look for something that you have, such as bird chirp, what we're on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and minimize that, and we're going to show you how to create a ringtone. Okay, I use a program called WavePad. Go and open that up. You can use whatever you want to, but if you want WavePad, it's a good program to use. I'm going to take this song, for example, by Kenny Chesney. And we're going to go ahead and put it in this program. And you want to clip out six seconds. Not not usually mo no more than that because, you know, it, you can't stop the ringtone from going off once it does go off. So we're going to find a part that we like. All right, we're just going to clip out about six seconds of it. Um... We're at, we have 20 seconds right now. I'm gonna get down to five seconds that we won't. We're gonna get, we're, you're gonna make sure you have to save the file as a 8.AIF file, an Apple A file. And you're gonna save it to wherever you want, to, want it to come out at. For this purpose, we're gonna save it under the folder that I'm using for this video. Okay. I'm going to hit save. You, know, you just want to make it a good rate so it'll have good sound quality. Alright, here we go right here. Right here's the song that we just created. It's an A file. Okay, we're going to exit off of this now. And bring back up our SH. Okay, what we want to do here is re rename this thing, rename this song that we just made to Tone bird chirp exactly like the one in text free and instead of naming it dot a if you want to name it dot caf and then push enter okay then you want to drag this file drop it into here push copy all 
Okay, here we got both both files. It's still showing this is AF. So you just wanna go back, make it a calf, push yes, overwrite that file. Well, if it don't want to overwrite it, just delete the other file, the calf file. And then you can tell yours apart from the other ones because it looks like that, but then it won't after you rename it to calf. Okay, once you have it renamed to calf, we're going to go back into our iPod. And we're going to test it out to see if it works. Bird chirp. Let's turn it all the way up. And you see we now have a custom ringtone. Alright, so that's how you do it. You just rename them. Make sure you back these up if you want to keep them though. And thanks for watching this video. Mr. Apple, I was back for some more hits. Today's my birthday. Subscribe. Peace out, guys.